So in this video I'm going to guide you to collecting and taming every beast this game offers. Stay tuned. So are those magical beasts within Hogwarts Legacy you want to collect them all? That's where you are here. Now there are quite a few beasts here uh, and today I'm going to show you the locations of how you can actually catch, tame, raise and breed more or less every single one. But before we go any further guys and now that I have your attention, if you do enjoy this video leaving a like really helps me out and if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. Okay so the majority of these uh, beasts you can simply go to their den and catch them but there's a couple here you can't do this you need to progress the main game to get to a stage where you can grab these things but hey if you're interested in taming if you're interested in breeding and collecting these beasts but don't know where to start a quick summary you need to progress the game until you get to a stage where you unlock the room of requirement for uh, a quest line for professor weasley i think it's called the room of requirement you get this done guys you open up the room of requirement progress on a little further and you'll start doing quests for Deke. The one you want to look out for is the one called the Elf, the Nabsack and the Loom. This is where he teaches you about the Nabsack, how you can go out into the open world and capture these magical beasts and then bring them back to your Vivarium. Complete this quest line guys, uh, this actual, this one quest even, and you'll unlock your Vivarium. And from here you're free to explore the open world and catch these beasts, bring them back to your Vivarium, as simple as that. Now the more you progress, Deke, the more Vivariums you will open with inside your room of requirement. I've got a total of four at the moment. So yes, just keep progressing uh, Deke, you'll have to keep progressing the story and you'll be good here okay so let's get into the beasts now we're going to start with the two you can't actually just go out into the open world and get into to progress the main story so we're going to start with the phoenix now the phoenix is a magical legendary bird probably the rarest one in the game because i think there's only one of them and to do this guys again you need to progress deke's quests now like i said uh the elf the knapsack and the loom progress past this one you'll then come to a quest for him called the polite of the house elf progress past this one you'll then come to the foul of the dead where he teaches you about uh, breeding and you have to go out and catch two festivals progress past this one and you'll eventually come to the phoenix rising now these will be time gated with the main quest line so if you haven't got any of these quests uh, for you and you've done the previous one progress the main quest or level up your character because some of these are tied to levels too so just do that guys and eventually you'll have a uh, probably an owl letter from deke or you'll have a notification within your quest that a new quest is available for you so yes the phoenix rising is the last one you do now this is a mission where you actually go and rescue this phoenix it's quite straightforward to be honest nothing difficult about it but this is where you get the phoenix from at the end of this mission you're able to capture it with your knapsack and then bring it back to a uh, deke and it will open up another vivarium for you especially for this legendary bird yes so that's how you get the phoenix people okay so the next one is the grab horn now the grab horn is a, a mount the fourth and final mount you can get in the game when i say fourth and final there's two hippogriffs there's the festival and there's the grab horn but keep in mind the onyx hippogriff as well as the festival are tied to pre-orders and the dark arts editions of the game if you didn't pre-order and you don't have the Dark Arts pack, you can't get the Onyx Hippogriff and I don't believe you can ride a Festral. But you can still go out into the open world and tame Festrals, which we'll come to after we've spoke about the Grapon. Okay, so the Grapon uh, is unlocked via you basically doing the, well, it's I'd say the final quest. It's more or less one of the last three quests in the entire game. It's called San Baker's Trial. Now, I don't want to ruin the quest for you. I don't want to ruin the mission for you or the story. But a simple summary of how this is obtained. Uh, during this quest line, you need the Graphorn to help you with the mission. And after the stage, you go on and collect in this Graphorn. To help you with this mission, you actually get to keep it as the mount. But once you've completed this quest, the San Baker's Trial, you can then go to the Graphorn then and collect more Graphorns, meaning you can breed these within the Vivarium too. So the den I know of, and the only den in the game I believe, is located more or less at the very bottom of the map you can see right here. Now the thing about this is, and how it differs to other tames, is the fact you actually have to fight this and beat it before you can tame it. Now the easy way to do this guys is to land on this rock and just fire down at it when its health gets real low just jump down guys land those final shots and then just capture the grab horn with your knapsack it really is that simple and then you are free to basically just return to your vivarium and let this bad boy loose 
or do what you want to do with it. So yes, that is how you get the grap on. Again, it's tied to a late quest called Sandbaker's Trial. After you've completed this, you're free to go to the den and capture these as you please. Now the remaining beasts, you can go to their dens anytime you want within the open world. A lot of them won't appear on your map until you fly near them. Now there are multiple of a lot of these dens, but I'm just going to showcase to you guys, which in my opinion are the best and easiest ones to go to, to tame these beasts. Now a simple trick which will really help you out in capturing a lot of these beasts, definitely the unicorn, the festival, the nizel and the hippogriff, because these if they see you they run away and can actually escape you because they're quick. What I'd do if I were you is, within that same spell diamond that you have your nab sack, also apply the spell of Levioso as well as Disillusionment. Reason being is disillusionment allows you to go invisible so you can get close to these beasts without them seeing you. And also levioso means you can basically stun them, make them levitate in place so you can capture them with your knapsack without them running away. So I'd probably apply this to your spell diamond for those harder beasts to catch. Okay, so all beasts will be timestamped down below if there's a specific one you're after. But from here on forward, guys, I will leave you to watch the video. Again, if there's a specific beast you're after, use the timestamps down below and you are good to go here, people. Again, there are multiple dens for these beasts. I'm just going to showcase you guys the ones that are easiest, in my opinion, to get to. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy, be sure to subscribe and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one. Do cooperate, won't you?
Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Everything's all right now. Thank <laughs> you. 